Hey guys, it's Chris Pajano 1 here with another episode of Modern Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, give your mob some mob drops. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our, um, end, in, into our um, uh, NC file, and I'm going to go protected, get drop item. I'm going to open and brace like that. Okay, save it. I'm going to have to return the item so we could return our custom item, which would be our tooth item. Okay. And basically, what this what this little method here will do, you see, actually, protected item, sorry. We are. See, it overrides some from the thing. Although this actually do, I'm going to add an annotation for this while I explain to you. Just that star. Like so, and this will drop random drop between 0 to 2 dropped at a time. Okay, so this will drop between 0, uh, zero so I might not even drop one sometimes. And it will drop between 0 items and 2 items of this to item at a time, okay? However, we could also, there's, more, there's a more advanced method of this, uh, this sort of thing. And this is and the method is protected. Again, protected void, and then you see, and then it's called drop few items. Okay, it takes two parameters, so it's going to be a boolean. So parameter one, my comments. This one's an integer parameter two. So, and you'll see we're actually overriding method from NC living again, which is in here. And you can actually do many things with this. If you look at the NC pig class, for example, which I've already got open. Um, you see, we've got. It, it, we can we can we can call up and see if it's burning, and if it's not burning, see if it's got a saddle on it, and so on and so forth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our entity top mob, and we can go. We're gonna create an integer called random, and we're gonna set it to the, equal to this dot rand dot next int. I will set it to three, and then we'll go plus one, plus rand, random dot, plus this dot, rand dot, uh, where's next thing? Uh, is it next thing? What does what did, what did the pick one put? Yeah, it's next thing. Rand dot next int integer one comma parameter two so one plus parameter two like so okay and basically what this is going to do is basically set this will basically generate a random number every time this uh, every time the animals uh, every time. Uh, it gets a new mob, okay? Because every mob calls upon this class, and so it will give every mob a unique, um, sort of, I uh, a really sort of random number. Hmm. It, it, like you're seeing here, we're going to use a for loop now, which will actually utilize this, okay? So basically, what we can do is we go to here. We'll create a for loop. So for integer k like it says in there which then k is going to be equal to zero semicolon as long as our k is less than our random then we will keep doing k uh, plus plus k so rather than it will, it will do the addition before it runs through the loop rather than after it okay so that's why we've got the plus plus k there rather than it being k plus plus Okay, so, so that's pre, not post. Um, normally I'll use uh, k++, plus plus, not plus plus k, but since we have to do this pre because it's for every time the mob is generated. Mm. Okay, and then we can use if statements in here. We could, we could, we could go, um, I don't know, if k is equal to 2, then we want to drop, I don't know, Let's say items dot 
gold ingot, not a gold nugget. Oh, we could create another. Oh, we could go else if k is equal to one. Gold ingot. What? Oh, sorry. Return. We need to do. Oh, did we return? No. I'm stupid again. We need to do this dot drop. Is it drop item? Yeah, it's drop item. And it takes two parameters, and you see if we actually go in here, we can actually look at this. It's an item and then an integer. So we'll do items dot gold ingot. And then we'll do, I don't know, drop two gold ingots. Okay. And then we can do this dot drop. Item, then we could do, I don't know, items dot diamond. And do, we can drop one diamond. Or we could even do another if statement, so we've actually come out of this for loop. We could go if this dot is burning. Then we want to do this dot drop item, and then we could do I don't know items dot obsidian. Not obsidian because obsidian is a block. Um, dot coal will drop if if it's burning. Okay, and we'll drop I don't know twelve coal. Okay, so let's run this. And hopefully it will run. And let's spawn a few of our mobs. Okay, let's get rid of the times and the coal. And we spawn a few of our mobs. Okay, so you see if we actually kill this guy, we can kill him like this. He dropped. Oh, a diamond. So that means that uh, K was equal to two at the time. If we can kill another one. Guy's running. He's over here somewhere. This guy dropped a diamond again. And got another. This time this guy dropped. We can catch him. Stop moving. Another diamond. So obviously diamond seems to be favoured at the moment. Come on, kill him. <coughs> this guy didn't drop anything this time. This guy dropped diamond and gold bars. So diamond seems to be favourite, so obviously since it's just randomly happening, because, yeah. By the way, um, when I put one, it means it's going to, it also counts zero, I think. So kill this guy as well, drop the diamond, so diamond seems to be the favourite one at the moment. If we can kill this guy as well. This guy dropped nothing. At some point they've got to drop just gold ingots. So yeah, I dropped both, again. This time I only dropped one gold, gold and get diamond. So diamond seems to be favoured at the moment, I don't know why. Maybe because it's the last number on the line. If we increase this, then it starts to favour um, the other one a bit more. By the way, you see that we haven't actually had... Um, oh, we should probably run that again, actually, and set him on fire. So we can set him on fire and then kill him. Single player. Let's get flint and steel. Steel. Set it on fire. I, I don't know, he's pushed this guy into it. Go that way. Don't avoid the fire. I want to set it on fire. Alright, so move without you, and we kill him while he's on the fire again. And hopefully, he'll burn to death. No, he didn't burn to death. Set on fire again. Burn to death already. And you see, he dropped everything. He even dropped coal. The 12 coal which we were after. So yeah. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this one. The drop one showing you how to do custom item drops. And yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Bye.